Hey y'all, this is your day's review for Monday, September 21st, 2015. And this is your day's review. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get this on up with. It was kind of boring today. It wasn't good at all. Some parts was, but some parts wasn't. So yeah, let's go ahead and get it. So we start out with Eve and Teresa. You know, they're packing up the last remaining items of Paige. As you know, she's dead and gone now, so... We're packing up, they packing up her stuff or what not have you. And so, they're packing up, they're having their moment, they're crying or whatever, what have you. You know, crying, still grieving over the loss of page, which is sad or whatever. So, yeah, they're going on, they grieving and, you know, talking about the moments with Paige and basically celebrating her life or whatever, crying, and Teresa and Eve, that was a cute little moment between them two, and then they got a knock on the door, and that was, Ed, his name was our Eduardo Page Daddy, and and Teresa went to open the door, and she thought, Teresa thought at first, he was one of the moving guys <laughs> to find out that was Page Daddy, and so he like, what the hell are you doing here? Like, Bitch, you ain't care about Paige all this time, so oh, now you can't got she dead. And so, that way it went off of that scene. So we get the Rafe and, um, the Rafe and Hope, and they're basically discussing the Chad, the murder case, basically discussing the murders of that, the Salem killer case. And so they're going through the evidence, and they know Justin trying and trying to arrest Chad for this shit, but we know Chad didn't do it. I'm pretty sure y'all heard me say this a thousand times. I'm going to keep on saying it till I'm blue in the goddamn face. Chad ain't murdered them two people. That was Clyde ass. And Justin trying to convict um, Clyde of this murder that he did not commit. And so that he did not commit. That he did not commit. So, yeah, that's how it is. And then, poor Caroline, she going through some issues right now. Poor thing, I feel so sorry for old homegirl. That was my girl. I remember her back in the day when I first started watching Days, when she was at this and she was funny as hell. That's the time when she said she going to hit easy across the head with that shillelagh. Now, yeah, I miss the old Caroline. Caroline was the bomb back in the days when she used to do, I mean, when she used to um, talk about threat, threatening to beat people up and cuss people out. Yeah, I miss the old Caroline. They need to hurry up and, um, Victor and, um, Steve. They need to hurry up and find this cure to fix my old girl Caroline because Caroline ain't the same no more. I miss so I really feel sorry for Caroline, poor thing. Okay, then we get the... Kayla and her little grown ass son Joey. Oh, see, I pray. See how? See what happened when you pray for somebody, get somebody a little bit of praise, give them a little bit of break. They go back and do the same bullshit over and over again. Now, little boy, I was on your side this whole entire time, and I seen you turn over a new leaf, being acting like a normal child. But then your little ass then went and then fought some, fought one of your best so-called friends, and now you're back to the same bullshit you back to again. Little boy, sit your ass down. I don't know what the fuck wrong with you, but little boy, you need to sit your ass down and quit. Your mama is trying to help you out now. You away from boarding school. Why can't you change and be a, act like a normal child? Why must you be a bitch? Yeah, you present in the last episode because you didn't calm your ass down and now you didn't went right back to them same old goddamn ways again. I don't know what to say about these children on these souls. They either grown or talk slick back to you these days on these soap operas. So then your children are boarding school. Don't send y'all children to boarding school unless you want your child to act like that. And so we get the, um, what we got to next? Hold on, let me check my notes real quick. I'm lost. Because I said I wasn't going to do all of it. I'm going to do half of it. Oh, yeah, we get the Bo and Steve, and they're talking, and they're talking about, you know, about Bo whereabouts. Like, where's Bo at? Steve trying to lock down on Bo, where the fuck Bo at? And so, he said his last no cursing was in Cancun, California, the, I mean, Peru. 
to California, to Cancun. He went there, and then Steve said, why did he go to California? I mean, yeah, Steve said, why did he go to California? Victor said that he was looking for a treatment for his mother to cure her disease that she got. And so Victor pouring in this money trying to find this cure for poor Caroline. I hope the cure do work. I really hope they find the cure for Caroline. And I feel so bad for her. I used to love Caroline back in the days. I still do love love Miss Caroline. And she need to get back together because, honey, she, she having her delusions and... She seeing shit that ain't there and that ain't the same old Carol that I known to love when I first started watching this so and I'm really missing the old Caroline, the more spicy, the more entertaining Caroline, cause she was everything back in them days. <coughs> and um So we get the hoping right. Oh yeah, we didn't did that one. Oh, yeah, so we got a glimpse of Bo again today, which is good. I love seeing Bo. Hope he's come back sooner rather than later. So we got another glimpse of Bo again today, and he's not hurt. He's not injured anymore. Basically, he bucking up, but I guess he ready to fight to get the foot wherever the hell he is. So he bucking and doing exercise and doing push-ups now. Trying to get himself together again. Yes, please do that, Bo, but don't let them catch you. I like, noticed how when they came in the room, you had laid back down like you was hurt. Yeah, Bo, get strong. You have to kick some ass, kick some ass to get out that situation. Because you need to rescue your fancy face if you call a hope. Because hope is a whole world of trouble dealing with Aiden ass. And it ain't going to be good for her. Better enough, she already disgraced now over you. You need to come on back, boy, and get your, get your fancy face. So we get back to Edward on Eve. And they're talking. Basically, Eve cussing the dog fuck out of him. Like, where the fuck you been? Where this, that, and the other? You never cared for her. You act like you didn't give a fuck about her all of a sudden. Now she did. Now you giving a fuck. But my question is to you, Eve, why you cussing the dog fuck out of him and telling him this and all that and the other time out you went to science fair and all that, way the fuck you was when she was in Salem. She was in Salem almost a whole year for we seen your little ugly ass in her eye doorstep and we ready for you to exit too with Paige. So why you cussing the dog fuck out of him, you need to be cussing the dog fuck out your own self, Eve. Why you trying to get, why you trying to get under his skin, so I need to cuss the dog fuck out of you. That girl was smart. She ain't need your ass, Ryan, but you came in. So, you, are you cussing him out? You need to be cussing your own damn ass out, too. Because ain't nobody tell you to bring your silly ass in town. Basically, you fuck with that girl alive when you bring your stupid ass to town. So, why you cussing that man out? You need to be cussing your own damn ass out, too. Because... Uh, Cause this ha this your fault too. Cause you fucked with that girl alive, and that's all I'ma say about Evo stank ass. Cause I ain't finna go win on her today. I save her for a later day. And so we get back to Stephen Victor, and they were showing photographs of Bo with some strange lady, and they like and Victor like, wait a minute, she supposed to be dead. How the hell did you get this photo? And Steve said, yeah, both fell right into the trail. So basically, the key might be to this woman that he was sitting in Cancun with at the bar. So she might be the reason that Bo is kidnapped or whatever Bo going through because of this lady. And now Victor believed that Bo is in trouble. I don't know how long it took y'all to figure that out, that Bo was in goddamn trouble. What it took a damn fire sitting there, a smoke screen. Some more evidence to y'all to believe that Bo finally in trouble. I could have told y'all Bo was in trouble a long, long time ago. Now y'all finally believe he in trouble. Oh, yeah. The last part. So we get the, this the last scene, last part I'm going to do. And so we get the, I mean, we get the Steve. And he's on the plane, waiting on the plane, you know, to go out. Because, you know, they got to fool up in this, that, and the other one. So, Steve basically waiting on the plane to go out. And he hear noise. And he hear goddamn noise. So, he goes, pull out his knife, getting ready to stab a bitch. 
Uh, st uh, uh, stab a bitch or stand up, have a bitch like this. Put your hands up. Come on now. And so when he goes back there in the back of the plane, it's his dumb ass son back there. I don't know what that little boy think he going, but you ain't going nowhere with Steve. Like I said, little boy, you need to sit your big grown ass down and learn respect and stop acting like a little, like a little sport brat child. I don't know what y'all gonna do with uh, Steve and Kayla. I don't know what the fuck y'all gonna do with that one. Look like he's gonna be a goddamn handful for y'all. Cause he is doing too much and doing the goddamn Moses. But yo, that's about all I got for y'all today. Like I said, it was... Days was alright, it wasn't great, but it was alright. But yeah, that's about all I got for y'all today. Follow me on Twitter at Sam One and Jazz. Like, subscribe to my channel to share this with everybody. And I'll see you later. Bye.